Handelkraftig kvinde. Ushizamang. Exigente. A feminist. Og jeg kan tage mange af på. Og med bohat positiv. Rigtig radesnøje. Dynamik. Håbefuld. Vesjolaj. Den så vores tv kadonu. The film is actually about what it is to be a woman in this world today. We decided to give women a voice. It's talking about mother, talking about sexuality, talking about empowerment or relationship with body or money, etc. I'm a Ukrainian-born journalist and film director. <laughs> uh, I have been working on social issues for many years now, maybe around 15 years, and I'm currently directing a film which is called Woman. It was a three years production. We visited around 50 countries and interviewed 2,000 women. But there are only 100 women talking in the final version of the film, and it's already almost two hours. A lot of women share things they have never shared with anyone. I have produced a human being. I am superwoman. I can do anything. Oh, how to be a mother, or how to have a, an orgasm in your life, and you know, that stuff also. Je me sens dans un autre monde, et il m'a dit, maintenant tu as atteint l'orgasme. Et les jours qui ont suivi, pendant les rapports sexuels, il s'arrangeait à ce que j'atteigne l'orgasme. Il, il ne respire pas avant que je n'ai atteint l'orgasme. What struck me a lot in China is maybe how lonely they are. And a lot of successful women who are, wow, they, well, Chinese women are strong, you know, and very independent. The young ones, it's like, wow, you, you don't make them do what they don't want to do. And, um, but at the same time, talking about their private life, a lot of them, whether would be pragmatic or on the contrary, some of them would collapse by saying, okay, I have succeeded so much. I have done a lot in my life, but I can't find the right person to be with me. It's in Shanghai. And one of them told us, my mother is so worried about me because you don't have a man in your life. But I, I tell her not to worry because when I will be old, there will be an artificial intelligence that will take care of me. We went to Shenzhen and so we also interviewed some women who work in factories. It was a completely different kind of life, but also a very lonely life. They would spend most of their time working and spend sending the money back to the family. Once you would get personal and, you know, talk about how it is for them as mothers, for example, it was uh, a lot about loneliness. I think in China there is something about people feeling quite lonely a lot. The bravest thing I've done was to stand in front of an audience and say, I'm a survivor of sexual violence and human trafficking. I broke the Guinness World Record for the world longest triathlon. But I have never been more afraid of my life. Violence really hits women everywhere. And this is something that kind of struck me. I'm afraid that 70% of the film would talk about violence that women have to face. There are countries where the rate of rapes and violence against women is just beyond, you know, what you can imagine. It's a girl that we've interviewed in Philippines who have been weathering sex trafficking. And I didn't want her to be in the film with something so sad and so negative, you know. We decided to keep the story where she talks about that crush she had on a boy, you know, the how cute and how amazing this girl is and you would never imagine that this girl went through the most horrible stuff in her life sa crush crush ko nga amo to dong do nagpa-inspired man sa akong ti nami eh go go to school ko eh in many countries until now it would be the man who would decide if a woman should or should not participate to an interview and we would sit with the husband and she would be there serving tea and not even speaking and so at a certain point we would say okay i'm sorry it's very nice to talk with you but we're actually to talk uh, here to talk with your with your wife 
he would look at her for this first time and like, okay, there are people interested in my wife. So maybe she is important. And there are some women who told us that their um, husband's behavior changed after the interview. It was as if uh, they have seen for the first time a kind of value in their wife. Women have opened their eyes. The women will fight for their rights. Her name is Amina. And this uh, woman is from Kenya and she comes from a very small village, but she educated herself. She says that, you know, if I'm here in front of the camera, it's because I got educated. And it was one of the very first interviews we did for the film. And I was like, wow, yes, we should go on these topics that women are ready to, you know, to, to take that opportunity and to, to be heard. Pourquoi vous attendez qu'on vous donne des places au Parlement, qu'on vous donne, donnez-nous Je dis, prenez-les. Moi, j'ai pris ma place et personne ne pourra me prendre cette place. How did we came up with the world that is, you know, makes women vulnerable and why and how can we change it difficult to give one answer but I think that putting all of these different women from so different perspectives of life and so different horizons together already creates a very strong impact with access to internet they are more aware that a different life for a woman may be possible somewhere else in the world makes them want to act on their own lives